Friday Night Blitz is sponsored by your local Fairway Food Store. Welcome into Friday Night Blitz. I'm Raina Garcia, joined by Jake Brand. Well, Jake, the playoffs uh, are on, underway for all classes this week. Some of the games were mismatches, but others were pretty evenly matched. Yeah, just like any first round of the playoffs, the, the 116s, the 215s might be blowouts, but those tighter games, those 8, 9, 7, 10 can be really good. And in fact, one of those 7-10 games was our game of the week. Yeah, we had a very familiar matchup for our game of the week with Bondurant for our hosting Indianola in the first round of the Class 4A playoffs. Now we saw these two teams go at it not that long ago. In fact, it was just two weeks ago. Bondurant got the win over Indianola 28-14 and the stakes were high then just because it was a district matchup and it had some possible playoff implications. But now here we are in the playoffs where the stakes are even higher. It's win or go home, so it doesn't really matter what you did in the regular season. It's all about who can be the better team on this particular night. They know our stuff, we know their stuff. And, you know, we have a better game plan this time going around. You know, you see a team once, then you kind of get an idea of what they want to do and how they want to defend you and what they want to do against you. Just knowing how physical and good of a football team they are, um, those are the ones you get just a little bit more excited about because you know that they're going to bring it. And as if the season being on the line isn't motivation enough, Indianola head coach Eric Kluver said during practice this week uh, they put up the score on their scoreboard from their week eight loss to Bondurant as a subtle reminder to give the team a, a little extra motivation heading into the game. So let's get into that game now. We got Indianola Bondurant round three. Moves on to the quarterfinals. Now the whoa, looks like that is not our game. We got a Wrong one in there, but that's okay. We're having some technical difficulties, so we will we will go ahead and uh, move on um, to our next game, which is Newton at Carlisle. We're going to stick with that uh, the, the Class 4A playoffs, if you will. If we can get off of this uh, these highlights here, we'll get to that later in the game. That's Class 3A with uh, ADM and Grinnell. All right, see if we can dump out of that. It looks like we're going to stay with it. Uh, ADM, though, impressive in, the, in this game, as always. Uh, they, they get the win over Grinnell. We'll get into it yeah, a little bit more later, but a I was. Blowout. Yeah, I mean, as expected, ADM is, is a powerhouse right now, with the exception of a blowout loss to Harlan not that long ago. Uh, but uh, they're playing as good as ball as, as ever this season. Yeah, the, it was actually a battle of the Tigers, so by <laughs> no surprise, the, the Tigers won. And uh, it's, it was one of those uneven distributed matchups. But this one that we have with Dave Bingham was one of those more even matchups. Yeah, um, the one we're going to get into uh, here in a moment is uh, Carlisle and Newton. Both are teams that are kind of flew under the radar a little bit this season. And tonight they face off for the first time in over a decade. Dave Bingham has those highlights. 112 teams take the field tonight to try to keep advancing on to next week and a chance for the Dome. Carlisle, one of the best. Boy, they did great in their district this year. It gives them the opportunity to host a very good Newton Cardinal football team. Carlisle district champs and undefeated. Get ready for this one, taking on a tough Newton team. And Newton gets the ball first, does pretty well on the first drive. Cody Klein with this big run. Boy, he's had a nice year. The drive does stall. And then Carlisle puts together a huge drive capped off by this Jess Kirchel touchdown, seven zip cats. Now a little play action pass. Carlisle going back to work. Joey Goodhue up top to Wyatt Sobiscata. What a catch by Wyatt. It leads to another touchdown here in the second quarter. Jack Laughlin takes this one in, 13 zip cats. Goodhue still warming up here. A little play action again finds Laughlin. Nice pick up here in the red zone. They're going to get another touchdown. Laughlin's going to take it in. Which man is it in this veer? Sometimes it's hard to see, 19 to zip. Carlisle at this point, but Newton would not go away. Brody Bauer, a little read option keep here. Bust it to the outside, 28 yards for the Cardinals. 19 to seven, staying in it. Time winding down in the second half though. Carlisle fourth and one from the one, they keep it. Kirchel takes it in again. Cats up 20 at this point. 
So the second half got wild. We can't show you all the highlights. We will next week on our Dome Dynasty, but uh, Andy Sweden Jelm's team played really well, but they came up short. Carlisle gets the win tonight, 48 to 28, and they advance on. They get a chance. They'll have to go on the road next week to take on Iowa City Liberty. That should be a good one. That's going to do it for week one of the playoffs. I guess week two for some teams, but week one for the four A's. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Iowa City High at Johnston and Spider-Man's on the drums. Second quarter, Dragons up 17-7. Sophomore Will Nuss heaves it to Rex Woodley for the score. 62 yards, 24-7 Johnson. And the defense was stifling for the Dragons in the second quarter. Matthew Trulanger blows up the screen pass to Carson Newton for the tackle in the backfield. Dragons played well in this game. Still on the same drive. Drew Larson is moving around in the pocket trying to make something happen and he has nowhere to go. A flock of Dragons brings him down for the sack. But the Hawks don't go away. They stay in it. The direct snap on fourth and one goes to Ben Keeter. Fooled me a little bit and he plows his way into the end zone. It was 24-14 at halftime but Johnston blows the lead, but still wins it in overtime, 38-31. Well, still to come here on Friday Night Blitz, we'll get back to that game of the week, and then we'll continue with Class 5A to see uh, which teams are now one step closer on their road to a state title.